Hey, welcome back to another video from Sunny Farms. Today we are working on getting our wet corn harvested, pulled out of the field, and that four-wheeler tire is really low. Anyway, today we are harvesting some of our wet corn. Uh, it's run about 20%, which is pretty low for wet corn, but it, you gotta work with what you got. It's been really wet. Today is Friday, and it rained Wednesday. And it also rained, I think, last Sunday. So, it's been wet. Now I'm gonna drive out back. We have a corn cracker set up and I'm gonna talk about how we're, how we're gonna get all this into the pit. Before I get all the way back there, this semi is full of corn right now. And so I'm just gonna get it started. Let the airbag start filling up. Take All right, so I'm in the back of our farm and we have our wet corn pit and right here We have a corn cracker This is a prototype new prototype from Lancota. They're starting to manufacture these and so and my brother actually works at Lancota and He knew that we needed a corn cracker because the idea with wet corn is um, basically to harvest it when it's about 25% moisture and then you crack it, you put it in the pit, you pack it in there. It kind of has the same idea as silage. Um, you pack it, that way oxygen can't get into it and then it ferments and that way uh, different bacteria that you don't want to grow won't grow in there. By cracking it, it allows the process to happen. And so my brother Robbie knew that we needed a corn cracker and Lancota wanted to get some bushels through their prototype. And so you can see it's not painted yet. As I said, probably twice now, it's a prototype. And so we got our 7530 hooked up to there and hopefully that has enough horsepower to run this corn cracker. Uh, it can do about 2,000 to 2,500 bushels an hour, I think they said. And so, yeah, we're just putting some bushels through it for them and they're helping us out by providing a corn cracker. And so we got our auger here. It's gonna run into the corn cracker. You can see it's super muddy. And so we're, we're dealing with that. Dad actually got stuck with the combine yesterday and pulled them out with the four wheel drive and they're, they're going right now. We have, like I said, this one semi full of corn and I'm gonna pull that up, get the auger situated. And then actually my brother's coming out with another representative from Lancota and they're gonna help us make sure we're running this correctly. And I'm also gonna get our 6155R over here and that's what I'm gonna use to push the corn so as you can see it comes in there and then it shoots out the spout and I will be using the loader tractor to push it up and pack it. There's probably a few of you Farmers potentially or maybe just city folk that are wondering why we why we even do wet corn And the answer to that is well, it makes it really easy to feed corn to cattle Because that stuff stays uh, in pretty good quality when you pack it right and it's that good moisture and Also, you know one of the biggest things is that it allows you to start harvest a little bit sooner which you know getting a few acres out of the way before it starts snowing and and the temperature's getting really cold, it's really nice. Something, it's one less thing to worry about, maybe a few hundred acres less to worry about. One last thing I forgot to mention is we got this inoculant. Basically, there's enzymes and there's um, microbes that produce enzymes in this bag. And you mix it in with the corn while it's going through and that way it helps, uh, it helps get that stuff fermenting and helps it to not lose its quality as quickly. All right, so they're gonna turn the cracker on, put it to 1,000 RPM. I'm in the tractor that's hooked to the auger. And I don't think this needs to run too fast. corn pretty good so we just keep adjusting it we don't want too much to fill up that hopper otherwise it'll 
start overflowing, obviously. So, here's what the uh, corn after it was cracked looks like. Naturally, it looks really good, I think. There's some that are a little bit, you know, just a little chunk taken out. But, you know, the goal is to break it into about three or five pieces, and I think it's doing a pretty good job. So it looks like I'm not adding the, uh, the microbes, the lactic acid producing microbes fast enough, because this uh, hopper's getting pretty close to empty. Well, now we got problems. So what happened is, we had corn coming out too fast and the spout that goes down into the hopper of the corn cracker started filling up and so then it broke the, uh, it broke the shear bolt that connects the PTO to the shaft, connects the PTO from the tractor to the PTO shaft and so we just gotta, we gotta put new shear bolt in and hopefully the auger's not too clogged up. Right here is a shear bolt and so it broke so the PTO was still spinning but the shaft wasn't spinning. So we got a new bolt in that. They're adjusting the corn cracker a little bit to, to make it so that it's a little less fine and I'm gonna move some corn here. All right we're gonna start it up and hopefully we don't break this auger because that would probably upset dad quite a bit. And she's going. We lifted the auger off. You can see there's some space in between the end of that spout because that filled up and we couldn't really tell that it was filling up. And then it put a lot of pressure on the auger. So now if we're putting too much corn out here and it's not going through the corn cracker fast enough, it'll just start overflowing. That's what, how we should have had it to start with but instead it filled up that cone that we had coming down from the auger and then it kind of jammed it up in there. start on the front side of the truck I don't need to get this going very fast I just put it at 1300 engine rpm which is relatively slow the other truck is full and it's here now so it means we need to not break down again because we just have the grain cart over in the field so hopefully hopefully that's not full before we get back with this semi but we're, we're figuring out how far to open things, what speed to run things at, and so at the very least we're getting familiar, and uh, another day, another nickel. Well, we got the first load done. I've got it spread out somewhat, and I got it packed. But we gotta keep going here. I'm gonna start this up, PTO on. Whew. Takes a lot of power just to get her going. And then you put it to 1,000.
All right. Here we go. I can get this unloaded before the next semi comes back that way I can have enough time to pack it because I feel like I haven't been packing very well I got the second semi empty and another truck isn't here yet so I'm gonna try to spread this around quick and hopefully I can pack it really well before that next one comes truck is coming in and I got the swingway moved and so I'm gonna get rid of this truck bring the next truck in and then we're gonna start cracking this third load Check out how much this thing bogs down when I turn the PTO on. It's a unit. That uh, shear bolt broke again. Had it shut off, no corn ran over. And I have an extra bolt up here, but I did take the wrench back. Uh, so that's gonna take a minute. See if she works. All is well. Well, there's load three, all cracked. Get a pile. I'm gonna move the swingway that way. No one forgets in the morning and runs over it. Then I'm gonna spread this out. Hopefully, get a little bit more in the back, and then I'll pack it pretty good before. I go in, it's about 8 o'clock, it's really dark, I can't see. Good thing the 6155R's lights are pretty good. We're going to be harvesting hard for the next week. It looks like at least no rain. Cross fingers for that. But see you guys later. Have a good one.